Glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus. Good morning, saints. Welcome to Morning Manna with Apostle Juliana. Jesus is Lord. Why don't we raise our hands in prayer? Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We worship you. We bless your holy name. We say blessed and honor be to your name. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you adoration. Yes, you are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our worship. The God who knows the end from the beginning, we say thank you. We say thank you, Ash, end of days. We say thank you. We worship you, Alpha and Omega. We thank you, the all-knowing God, the all-sufficient God. We thank you. Thank you for what you did for us on the cross of Calvary. We say thank you. We say thank you for the blood. We thank you for the cross. Oh, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes, we exalt your holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for the death and the resurrection you did for us on the cross of Calvary. For now are we the children of God and we are partakers of your divine nature. And our lives are hidden with Christ in God. We give you honor, we give you praise. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we adore you. Thank you, Lord, you loved us before we love you. We thank you, Lord, for protection. We thank you, Lord, for healing. We thank you, Lord, for the peace of God which surpasses understanding, which you put on our path in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the joy of the Lord, which is our strength in Jesus' name. We give you honor, we give you praise. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, good morning, saints. Good morning, saints. Yes, welcome to Morning Manna with Apostle J. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Today, we are still going to talk about that God is going to establish you in your life, in your goings. He's a God who wants you established. He's a God who wants you set. And yesterday, we started to see where are we being established. The Word of God taught us. The Word of God told us that we are established in Christ in the mysteries which are in Christ and which are no longer hidden to us because we are children of God. And in those mysteries, we go and rule and take over areas in our lives. So there's nothing hidden to our God in the heavenlies. There's nothing hidden to our God on this life. So that's why we depend, we rely, we hang our lives on him. We hang our life on the finished cross of Calvary. We hang our life on the word of God, what he did in the word of God. So there's nothing which our God cannot solve. There's nothing which our God is not aware of. He's an omnipotent God. He's an omnipresent God. He is a reliable God. He's an omniscient God. So his secrets are revealed to those who love him. And through his secret, the mysteries in Christ and the mysteries of the gospel, we are established. No matter what we go through things, that's why now I understand why the Apostle Paul said we can do all things through Christ who strengthened us because we are established in him. Oh, glory to Jesus. That's why he says, count it joy, my brothers, when you go through diverse tests and temptation. Why? Because you know that you know God will establish. That's why the Bible tells us that uh, tribulation, trial, can be for a while. But God, <clears throat> after a while, after the testing of our faith, God will establish us. God establish us through his word. So I want to encourage you this morning, no matter what you face, <clears throat> no matter what you are going through, <clears throat> no matter the hurdles in your life, we have to totally rely. We have to totally depend on God. 
he who began a good work in your life will accomplish it. I don't care what you're facing. I don't care what you're going through in your life, in your situation. But God knows and he is well able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you think or imagine. Because he's a good God. He's a faithful God. Let's learn to trust. Let's learn to rely. Let's learn to depend on him. Hallelujah. Those who trust in the Lord, they shall not be put unto shame. Those who rely on him, they are like Mount Zion. They shall never be moved. Oh, what am I saying to you this morning? We have to rely and depend on God. And this God who established you, no matter what you face, if it's weakness in your body, you strengthen you. Yes, if you have facing you know you know career career despair yes god is well able let's wait for him let's wait on him those we wait on him marital disruption god is well able i don't know what's your situation i don't know what you're facing but i know this god is well able to provide for you yes in these turbulent times to provide for you to make a way for you yes he's a dependable god he's a reliable god you know as we said yesterday the bible tells us that as far as the heavens are from the earth his thoughts are not our thoughts but one thing we know is many mysteries which are in christ his thoughts his ways concerning our lives he will give us as we depend on him as we dare to listen to him i like today's prayer point for our fasting it says that you know we have to incline our ears to him we have to learn to hear god we have to learn to hear God so that we know what to do. What am I saying? In whatever you face, the number one step you have to know is that to know that God is dependable. God is interested in you. Number two is to incline your ears to hear what he wants you to do. And number three thing is for you to do exactly, you know, to do exactly what he wants you to do. In Jesus' name. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Oh, Sadaba Kauzo Prete Kashila Bahatuka Mantoro Bozoko Bohati Kabaha Mukaba Zuprete Kalihaya. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So today I'm on part two and I want us to read the word of God. I mean, together. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Let's go to the word of God. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter one, verse 21. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I'll start there, then I'll read backwards. Hallelujah. It says, Hallelujah. Now, he who established us with you in Christ and has anointed, anointed us is God. Hmm? Now, he who, has, who established us with you in Christ and has anointed us is God. So, we have to understand that our establishment is through God and our establishment is by God. So no matter what you go through, God will send people, God will send events, God will give you abilities. But know that in your life, your establishment is done by God. It's not what we can do. That's why the Apostle Paul says, we are what we are by the grace of God. The word of God is telling us here that he who established us is God. And he says, when I am weak, he is strong. Or when we are weak, I mean, when we are weak, he is strong. And the apostle says, my strength is made perfect in your weaknesses. So no matter what we go through, we have to praise God. We have to worship him because we know. Our dependence, our reliance is of God. Our sufficiency is of God. Whatever sufficiency you good need, is it wisdom? Is it healing? Is it direction? Is it financial breakthrough? Is it breakthrough in your children's life? Is it marital breakthrough? I don't know what you desire, but the Bible says he desired that our joy be filled. But one thing we must know as we walk in the journey of life is that him, Christ, will establish you. Sometimes people will move away from your life. Their seasons will be finished in your life. Not everyone you are given in life is supposed to be with you for a lifetime. You know, some people are there for months. Some people are there for days. 
Some people, they just come and drop a blessing and go away. Some are for a life, lifetime. Why am I saying it? But we must understand that when people depart, when people live in our lives, in our destinies, when company decides to, to lay us off, we must know that our dependence is not on a man. Our dependence is not in an organization. Our reliance is on God. The same God we opened that door in that company is the same God we're going to open a new door. If he's opened a door for you in pick and pay, surely he can open a door for you in Woolworth. If he opened a door for you, you know, you know, you know, in Telco, surely he can open a door for you in Celsi. What am I saying? Wherever God has opened doors for you through man, don't look at man. The Bible says the dependence of man is vain. Vain is the trust of man. We have to rely and to depend on God when testimonies come our way. God will use man. God will use situation. God will use people but we must know our dependency our reliance must be of god as the bible has told us that he who he established us with you in christ and 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 has anointed us with god he who establish us with you in christ is god so who is who is gonna establish me is god in whatever you do, I know your people's strategy. There are lots of strategies. We are doing lots of things, even our own effort. But I always say these days, there are things which God can do beyond your efforts. There are things which can do God do beyond your strategy. There are things which God can do beyond your abilities. There are things which God can do beyond your connection. This is what we are saying. This God who can establish you, may he come and intervene in your life. I told you, it's our season of favor. As we close down this year, may this God establish you. May he send help from above to come and establish you in your path in Jesus' name. Amen. So I want to call you to read the word of God. I said I'm going to read backwards. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to read backwards. Then we'll come back to this verse 21. Let's go to verse 15. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. All right, let's go to verse 8. Let's go to verse, you can put verse 8 there for me. Amen. Okay. All right. Sorry, Pastor. I'll go back. What I want to give you, it says here, yeah, you know, let's just go, start from verse 2. It says it. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, in the Lord of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm reading verse 2. Grace and peace of our Father. Grace and peace from God of our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 3. Blessed be God and the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy and the Father of all comfort. The Father of mercy and the Father of all comfort. I like that. Are you hating is there something which is hating you and troubling you there's the father of all comfort and this father of all comfort is able to establish you you know there are some things you go through which you can't explain to any man there are some things which you go through even if you try to explain to men they won't get it the way you feel it that what you're feeling in your heart the pain whatever you're going through but there's a god of all comfort my Bible tells me that you know, blessed be the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God of all comfort. I want to speak to somebody under the sound of my voice that the God of all comfort, may he comfort you in that pain. The God of all comfort, may he comfort you in that loss. The God of come all comfort, may he take you through where you feel you can't get over. You know, hallelujah. Who comfort us in all our tribulation that we may be able to be to to comfort those who are <clears throat> in any trouble, which they with the comfort which he, which ourselves have been comforted by God, so He comforts us so that we are able to comfort others with the comfort which God has comforted us. Oh, it teaches us something. When somebody suffered a loss, you are going to visit them. You must know how to comfort people. There's a way to comfort which is div divide. Don't discourage. Don't divide. When you go to comfort, make sure you're an encourager. Don't worsen the pain of somebody who is going through stuff and situation. The Bible says the God of all comfort, 
who will help you, who will comfort you, so that you might be able to comfort others with the comfort which have received, which have received. Hallelujah. For as, as the suffering of Christ bound in us, so our consolation also bound through Christ. Now, if we are afflicted, it is for you, your consolation and salvation, which is effective for enduring the same suffering which we also suffer. Or if we are comforted, it is for your consolation and your salvation. And our hope for you is steadfast because we know that you are the partakers of our suffering. So also you will partake of the consolation. Hallelujah. I'm giving a background of the establishment. The apostle here is talking about their suffering. So it shows that you know, they were going through some suffering. They were going through some stuff. It's not strange as a believer to go through some stuff. I know when we used to preach to people, and we still do it now, we say, you know, come to Jesus, all your troubles will go. Come to Jesus, no pain will come to you. When we are born again, we, we don't make troubles to go. But God gives us strategy to fight the devil. Even the Lord Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, was tempted in the wilderness. So being born again makes us a in a position to be superior to the enemy, to be superior to the content of our destiny, to be superior you know, to the enemy. The moment you get born again, you are superior to the enemy. You can conquer the enemy. It doesn't make you that your enemy disappear. The temptations will come, the trial will come, things will come out your way. But I want to assure you, we are established in Christ. What am I saying? I don't know what you're facing. I don't know what you're going through. Be of good cheers. The Bible says, count it joy, my dear brethren. When you go through diverse tests and trial, count it joy. Yes, joy. Joy. Yes, joy. Count it joy. I'm speaking to somebody under the sound of my voice. Count it joy. Yes, you say, Apostle, you don't know what I'm going through. You know, I can't count these joys. I'm the shame of the family. I'm the shame of the community. I'm the shame of my workplace. I'm the shame. You know, they are coming to take the, the, the house. I don't know how to look after these kids. How can I count it joy? My brother, my sister, the joy of the Lord is our strength. The strategy in the word of God. Christ will establish you. He will remove your shame you is through his word you will make a way for you where there is no shame the one thing which i want to tell you before i go on we must know and understand that the devil is a thief the first thing he steals from you if he wants to defeat you is your joy so when things are not happening he steals joy because you know the bible tells us from the wells of joy all you you are going to get salvation from the wells of joy we are going to draw salvation. We draw, we draw salvation from the walls of joy. So what does the devil does? He gives us depression in situation. It's not your situation which defeats you. It's your position in your situation. It's the way you see your situation. It's the way you see yourself in the situation. Oh, I can't emphasize that. We talked about the grasshopper mentality. The way they saw themselves, that's the way they become. What am I saying to you this morning? We are still talking about God established. Us. It's the same God. The Bible says he raises me from the very clay and he makes me sit with kings. He's the Lord who raises people. So it doesn't matter your position, you know, where you are natural. It matters the position of your heart, your position in Christ, your establishment is in Christ, the mystery of Christ. Apostle Paul says, no, yes, we are suffering, this suffering, you know, but, no, but you know, as we are suffering, we are strong so that we can comfort you with the comfort so that your salvation can be preserved. So whatever we go through, God is faithful to preserve you. Look at those family, look at those children, look at yourself, look at whatever is around you. Say, thank you, Lord, for the deliverance in Christ. Thank you, Lord, for the deliverance in Christ. Let your joy not be stolen away. The joy which is in your heart. Let your position in Christ not be moved by anything. If you have got that, God is well able. Your testimony is sure. It might not be today, but it's coming. It might not be next week, but it's not coming. But you're already in the 
position of victory even while you're still in that situation you're still in the position you know of victory even you're still walking oh what are you saying apostle even if you're still sick you're in the position of healing you see yourself healed because the bible says by his stripes i'm healed yes even if you don't have finances you know to pay for those bills you say for the grace of our lord jesus christ though he was rich for my sake he was made poor so i stay in the position of poor you know you know you know of this rich of, of, of being provided you know even if there's lack of peace and torment around me i say the peace of god which surpasses understanding rules my heart so as I go around, I'm not controlled by what's around me. I detect my environment. I'm the pest setter in my environment. Oh, Ricky Zabro Talikabaha. I'm the regulator in my environment. A person who knows that God will establish them. They must know and they understand that you are the regulator. You carry Christ in you, the hope of glory. So no matter what you go through, no matter what's happening in your family, no matter what's happening in your children, no matter what's happening in your life, in the marketplace, in your spirit, soul, and body, you must know that you are the regulator. How would you regulate? Through the word of God. You regulate your environment. You regulate your environment. You regulate what you go through. Yes, the heavenly environment. Yes, the earthly environment. Oh, so practical. Because my Bible says he was given a name which is above every name. The name of Jesus. And that the name of that name every knee bows every tongue confesses on heaven on earth and under this earth what am I saying everything around you can be regulated by Jehovah look at that letter from the bank look at those sermons from the court look at that letter in your inbox yes that they are retrenching and you are part of the retrenching list and you don't know what to do look at that letter of ex um, of, of, of no no presented to you that letter of divorce I don't know what reports you are re receiving from the doctors whose reports you are receiving but the Bible tells me that you know we have to count Jehovah why? Because we know we are established in God. He is the supreme God. When he says yes, no many says no. When he opens the doors, no many closes the door. So it doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they put across for you. Depend on him. Rely on him. Let's totally depend on him. Let's lay and hang our lives on him. Glory to Jesus. He is a faithful God. He is a reliable God. He is a dependable God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Being steadfast. Hallelujah. Being steadfast. Being steadfast. If you want God to establish you, there's a steadfastness you need. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me continue to read. He says, for we do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, of our troubles which came to us in Asia. Oh, Cabrosa Taka. He said, I don't want you to be ignorant that I also had troubles. Apostle Paul also had troubles. The one who said, I fought a good faith, <laughs> a good war of faith. Oh, glory to Jesus. The one who says, I can do all things by Christ who strengthened me. Hallelujah. The one who said, Oh, King Agrippa, I was not disobedient of the heavenly vision. He said, He also had troubles. He says, I, did, I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren. Of the troubles which were came to us in Asia, that we were burdened beyond measure, Akabrosa, burdened beyond measure. Oh, hallelujah! Above strength, so that we despaired even of life, burdened beyond measure, ab above our strength, so that we despaired even even of life, despaired of life beyond measure. I don't know how we are feeling, burdened beyond measure. That we despaired beyond life. Yes, we had to sentence, we, we had the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Hear that, hear that, my beloved. Hear that, hear that. It says that we had the sentence of death in ourselves. We had the sentence of death in ourselves. What was the sentence? That we should not trust in ourselves. But in God who raises the dead, that we must trust in Him, God who rests in the same. But we had ascended within ourselves. That we should that should be our position if we want God to establish us. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. 
who delivered us from the great, from a great death and does deliver us, in whom we trust and you will deliver us. I, you, I mean, you also helping together in prayer for us and thank you. Thanks may be given by many persons on, on our behalf for our gift granted to us through men. Hallelujah. For our boasting is this, the testimony of our conscience that we conducted ourselves in the world in simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshly wisdom, but with the grace of God. We, we, we conducted ourselves in simplicity with godly wisdom. In simplicity, with godly wisdom, oh, may that be our portion, my brothers, my sister, Miss, may that be my portion, that we conduct ourselves, that we conduct ourselves in simplicity and in godly sincerity, not with fleshly wisdom, but the grace of God. May that be our portion, that we conduct ourselves in simplicity, that we conduct ourselves in godly wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may the wisdom of God you know, be in us as we move in this life. It's not just about the victory, it's the way we get the victory. Hallelujah. And more abundantly towards you. For we are not writing any other things to you than you read and you, uh, you, you read or understand. Now I trust you will understand even to the end, as also you have understood in your part, in your part that we are your boast, we are your boast, as you also are of ours in the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And in the confidence, I intend to come to you before that we might have a second benefit to pass by way of Macedonia to come again to Macedonia to you and to, and to be helped by you on my way to Judea. Therefore, we, when I was planning this, I did, I did it, I did it, I do it lightly, <laughs> you know, or um, the things I plan, do it according to the flesh, that which me, to the flesh, that with me there should be yes, yes, and no, no. But as God is faithful, our word to you was not yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, by me, we preached among you by us, by me, Salvania and Timothy was not yes and no, but it was in him, yes, in him was yes. For all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen, to deliver to the glory of God through us. Now, the Lord will establish us with you in Christ and, and has anointed us by God, who also has sealed us and given us the spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. Glory to Jesus. The apostle is saying that the Lord has established us. He has established us in Christ. We are established in Christ. And he has also sealed us with a guarantee in our hearts. You know, yes, it's, you know, sealed us with a guarantee, you know, in our hearts. The guarantee of the Spirit. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. It says, moreover, I call God as a witness against my soul that to spare you, I come no more to current. Oh, hallelujah. What am I saying? This God was able to spare them. This God was able to establish them. No matter what they went through. Yes, they went through stuff, but God spared them. God spared them. What am I saying? As a believer, stuff will come. Things will happen your way. But know that God is able to defend you. God is able to establish you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Ribo Setelebo Hai. Mazeke Toribo Zebreka Shika. Man Teleko Zopraka. I'm speaking to somebody under the sound of my voice. As we rely, as we depend on God, God will establish us. He talked about, no, I didn't use my own wisdom. I didn't use anything. I depended on God. What am I saying to somebody under the sound of my voice? No matter what you're going through, no matter the situation, the apostle said, they, when I read, read previously, he said, we, 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 we despaired. 
we despaired even of life, but we did one thing in our hearts. We made sure that we put Christ in front, that we were dead but alive in Christ. What am I saying? He is able. He says here in this word, his promises are yes, and we say amen. His promises are yes, and we say amen. His promises are yes, and we say amen. Despite what you go through, despite you might not see where you are going, you despite you might not see the road where he is leading you, but I'm telling you, my brother, my sister, I said, I will continue to say it again. It's our season of your favor. It's your season of favor. Surely God is going to establish you. Surely God is going to make a way. Your name will be written down it's where you are not expected. Why? Because he's able to do what he said to do. As I close, I want to read First Chronicles chapter 17, verse 11. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. First Chronicles chapter 17, verse 11. Yes, we are people of faith. The just people shall live by faith. I see you being established. No matter what you're facing, no matter the, what the reports are saying, the Bible says it, it shall happen when your days are fulfilled that you must go to be with your father, that I will set up your seed after you. You shall be of your sons and I'll establish, I shall be with your son and I'll establish his kingdom. My emphasis, emphasis is that he said, I will establish his kingdom. It's God who said he was going to establish the kingdom. I said it's God who established it. No matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, know that God will establish, who is the one who is the establisher. Oh, Rabba Zitele Kobushika, Lambroso Kobozaka, Yake Brosoka, I see you being established. Yes, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a favor to establish. Hallelujah. The Bible also says, oh, <clears throat> glory to Jesus, talking about David, on verse 12, on the same scripture, it says, He shall build me a house, and I shall establish his throne forever. It's God who establish the throne, you know, forever, up to now. You know, if we, we are the children of God, of Abraham by faith. We are in the descendants of David by faith. His throne has been established even up to now. What am I saying? God is able to establish you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to Jesus. Same scripture, verse 23, same chapter, verse 20 says, Now the Lord, now the Lord, let the word that you have spoken concerning your servant and concerning his house be established forever and do as you have spoken. I want to speak to somebody under the sound of my voice that the word of God which he has spoken on your life concerning your children, concerning your destiny is being established. I want you to raise your hands and thank him. Oh, Rebo Zataka Salaba. Man take a libo zopra telelebo zateka. Man tori kaba zopra telelebo uza. Is the Lord we establish. May he establish your children. May he establish you. May his name be established in your generation forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, rike de de zebra tali ka uzo bralaka. Ma zeteli ho uzo brate kashia. I just want us to pray as we close. Mole ka uzo pre ke zila bo kusia. La musa pre te ke zila ba uzo taka. Father, we thank you. We worship. Me ka dro bra sele ka uzo koriya baha. Le bo kuzi ka ba le uzo brate ka. La bro so di ke shaka. To the brethren under the sound of my voice, I want to speak first Kings chapter 2, verse 4, which says the Lord may th th that the Lord may establish his word which he spoke concerning me. Yes, we pray that may the Lord establish his word which he spoke concerning you, concerning your destiny, concerning your life, concerning your call. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh Riki Basaka, saying, If your children take heed to their ways, to walk before me in truth with their hearts and with their souls. They shall not fall. They shall not fail you. He said, a man on the throne, he said on the man on the throne of Israel. 
Thank you, Lord, for establishing us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mazokoria Baba Kosiko Boko Zatala Bosoko, Maliko Zopreke Zelebo Kozika, Rahlebo Zoko Hai. For this is say in First Kings chapter 2, verse 12, that Solomon sat you know, on the throne of David, his father, and his de and his kingdom was firmly established. Father, thank you for establishing, yes, the brethren under the sound of my voice in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As your word tells us, your promises are yes, and we say amen. Father, thank you. As your word tells us that we are established in God and in his anointing. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, thank you, yes, for everything which is not in God. Yes, is destroyed in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, what our heavenly Father has not planted is being destroyed. Disease, lack, it is being destroyed. Lack of peace, blindness, oh, Brasila, depression, Mukabrosha, lack of, of provision, lack of opportunity is being destroyed. Father, thank you for establishing us. Father, thank you for releasing us to our next level. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, God bless you, saints. Good morning, heaven, lovely. Tuesday, Jesus is Lord. Holy Spirit, 